Hi guys and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. I'm so glad that you could join me today on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Or if it's not Sunday, happy whatever day it is you're watching this. Um, today we're building an eco home for two Sims. You could you could turn it into more if you wanted, but I only really built it for a couple, maybe a single Sim in Evergreen Harbor and this is a limited pack build. It's only with base game and eco living. Eco yeah, eco living. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound right. No, oh, eco lifestyle. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the name. I'm like ninety five percent sure. Anyway, I built this in Evergreen Harbor on uh I don't even know if I think this is a thirty by twenty lot in the Grimm's Quarry district. It's right across from the community, oh my goodness, the community center? What is that called? The community space, you know, the one that, like, changes? Uh, my mind is blanking on everything <laughs> that everything is called. But, anyway, it's kind of a short video. Like I said, it's only for two sims or maybe a single sim. It's just a one-bedroom, uh, one-and-a-half bath or two-bath, I guess. It just has a, there's an ensuite on the, in the main, in the only bedroom, and then there's um, a half bath kind of open to the public. But I just kind of imagine that the Sim or the Sims that live here really were into, like, fabricating their own stuff. And not really, like, living off the land, but kind of just, like, making their own things. I only give them a fabricator, so I don't imagine that they're, like, into juicing or juicing. That sounds... Getting juiced. <laughs> I don't imagine they're into, like, juicing or... Is it fizzing? Well, it's one of, whatever that kombucha station is or uh, the candle making station. So I really only gave them the fabricator. So I imagine that I gave them a decent amount of fabricated furniture because obviously I was only using base game and eco lifestyle. So that's a good option um, to kind of give them. But yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know. It's an interesting like layout also like I never do like a, a full-on galley kitchen but it's kind of I don't know I thought it was kind of interesting to kind of have it like uh, the bedrooms to the side with the galley kitchen in the middle it's a, it's a different layout but like I said I imagine the sim is really into like fabricating their own stuff and then like um hosting I guess is the right word kind of I imagine that it was like a single sim or a couple but I gave them a dining table with six chairs and then the living space can seat up to five sims. So I imagine that they kind of did a decent amount of hosting. And I even, another thing I did in this um, living room that I really liked is I kind of put the fireplace off to the side. And it's kind of like this asymmetrical. A lot of the things here are asymmetrical as I'm making symmetric um, solar panels and um, sunlight, sunroofs. Skylights. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I was really going based off an image I had found. Um, I don't even know where I found it. Maybe it was Facebook. Maybe it was on one of Facebook, one of the build inspiration groups I'm on on Facebook. Or maybe it was on Pinterest. I'm not quite sure where I found it, but I've had it saved in my phone since like December. So I was like, well, when I was scheduling it out, I kind of went through and looked at my photos and kind of went from there. And then I knew that I kind of wanted to do I want to try to do at least one limited pack build a month, so I thought that this would be a good, um, a good option because to, I really don't want to just build the base game. I like having the options of other packs, and I want like a good pack. And I think Eco Lifestyle is a really good pack to build with. There's a lot of good furniture, but there's also a decent amount of gameplay. I mean, I don't think I bought this one full. I mean, I didn't buy this one full price, but when it came out, I probably did on the PS4, but on my computer, I definitely bought it when it was on sale, but honestly, I think it's a good staple, and I love having it in my game, I just love the, like, the challenge that, like, this and, like, Cottage Living adds. Oh, another thing that I did with this lot, you'll see, is I did, like, kind of earlier, so I kind of separated a chunk of it off, because I didn't want to build, like, this massive house, and I didn't want to have this huge yard. I honestly didn't do that much landscaping at all, I have, like, a tree and some shrubs, and... Then I have this, like, alleyway off to the side that I made. I put a dumpster, di like, a dumpster, <laughs> a dumpster diver over there. A dumpster. Um, and I imagine that the sim kind of goes dumpster diving occasionally. And I imagine that's where, like, he found this, he or she, where they found this mirror that they put in this bathroom. And then they kind of, 
I don't know, like, also maybe they found this ball of, and then they, like, repurposed it and put plants in it. I just think that this sim is kind of, like, a little crafty like that and a little, I don't know, just resourceful, I guess. But I didn't, I guess I could have given them, like, the woodworking table, too, but I imagine they were more into uh, hosting than they were into it actually, like, um manufacturing everything that they use. Like, I didn't imagine that they, like, I didn't give them any of the fabricated rugs or anything like that. I didn't imagine they were going, like, crazy with stuff like that. But I imagine they spent a decent amount of time and maybe they're even, like, uh... Can you be a freelance crafter? I don't know. I'm... We could sell you stuff on Plopsy, I know. But I can't remember if you can be a freelance crafter. I think you can. I think you can. So I imagine maybe that's kind of what they were doing they're just kind of selling what they're creating and that's the way they're living I also imagine that this might be like an old retired cu retired couple which is kind of strange or maybe like a newly married couple who like or even like just a couple who don't plan on having kids they're just like this is a nice house we make a good amount of money we can go here there's just a tv though now that I think about it there's like no laptop no computer um there's a bookshelf there's a fabricator and then upstairs in the little loft area you won't see it on here, and you don't see the fabricator room either. Um, fabricator room, I just had, the, like, the fabricator, a rug, um, aprons, a decorative wall piece, and that's pretty much it, because it's just in a 2 by 4 room. And then upstairs, there's the bar area with a couch, and then on the little patio outside, there's another fabricated outdoor um, love seat, I think it's called. Um, it's similar to the one I have in the living room and a few planter boxes, like the single ones, but I didn't, I guess I just forgot to hit resume when I paused it. Um, but another thing that I did in this build is I used the plumbing that came with Eco Lifestyle and I don't use it a lot because of the glass like things on it. And I actually kind of like how it looks in here. It's definitely not something that I find myself using a lot, like I said, but I think when it, I can make it work, it looks really nice. Another thing about this is it doesn't have a matching shower, and so I'd really like to have, like, all four main core pieces to kind of get the most out of it, because, like, the shower looks okay in here, but also it feels like it's it's not quite right, if you know what I'm saying, but, um, yeah, this build is pretty expensive, though, like, if you look on the gallery, because it does use the very expensive stove and fridge. But, I mean, you can always, like, download it and replace it. And then it would probably be pretty cheap, to be honest. Oh, we do show the fabricator room. I wasn't sure if I did or not. I just think, think I showed me decorating. I think I just showed this and then, like, putting windows. And then, yeah, we're outside all of a sudden. But, yeah, and we just do some, like, landscaping. Like, there's a dumpster I set up out here in the palette. I was trying to make it look like the alleyway just kind of continued on. And, like, I put a car down the that obviously is not functional, but I imagine that it was the Sims who lived here, and I kind of made it a little bit bigger, because I was like, he's got to be able to fit, like, the projects that he's working on inside of it, and then I put a tree, I put some fences, and like I said, I really didn't use that much outdoor space, because I imagine the Sim was more, like, an interior Sim, an interior, like, uh, like, wanted to stay inside, or kind of something like that, but yeah, I also started working on the build for Wednesday today and I'm very excited it's not really coming coming together but I finally have like the outside of it done and I'm building a penthouse so I'm very excited um for you guys to see that and I have a a little bit longer of a weekend so we should be able to do it but anyway we're on the screenshots now already oh my goodness if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this okay bye